Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode with Grow With Zay. And today on this channel, uh, I wanna talk about how to make more money. And I know it's probably a, a line you've heard a lot. Uh, and it's a broad statement, honestly, how to make more money. I mean, we can go uh, wash windshields at stoplights, right? Or do like those boys <laughs> in Atlanta and bang on people's cars and threaten them to buy water, right? Uh, yeah, that's sketchy. Don't do that. If you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not from Atlanta, but I've been there a few times and I've seen how those boys selling water can get and that's not business. But um, yeah, so I wanna give you guys some practical tips on how to make more money uh, for the you know this year, beyond 2021, 2022, 20, uh, whatever. The future, now and beyond, right? How do you make more money? And so I wanna give you some real practical advice, not any, you know, uh, general like garbage advice that's not really gonna help you. I wanna give you something that's actually gonna last or something that, maybe when I say garbage, something that's not like a, uh, a get rich quick or an overnight thing that's just a trend and it's gonna be gone tomorrow. No, I wanna give you something that if you apply it, that you'll be able to make money, uh, more money now and for uh, the rest of your life. And so I'm gonna give you some core principles and we'll go in a little detail in some areas. And if you guys like the video, if you enjoy it, I will go deeper on the topic in other videos. So some videos I'll put out will be me introducing you to an idea or making you aware, and some videos will be me going more in depth on that idea that I introduced. Um, but just to keep videos from not being too long, some will just be more general videos that kind of open up your mind, and like I said, we'll dissect more in other videos. But, so without further ado, I wanna give you guys practical steps on making more money. So let's get into it. So number one, uh, for how to make more money, and this is really important, but you're probably not gonna like it, it is gonna be your mindset. Oh God, you hit us with the Tony Robbins, not the hippy dippy, not, not the mindset stuff, please. Just get to the how to, for goodness sakes. I don't care about the mindset, just tell me how. Let me tell you right now, your problem is probably not the how to. My problem is not the how to. Honestly, I don't think anybody watching this video's problem is the how to. The how-to is out there already. You're on YouTube right now. The how-to exists right now for free on this very platform you're using to watch this video, right? So we do need to start with mindset because what holds many people back when it comes to making more money is the mindset, is the limited to beliefs they have towards money, right? And that biggest thing is really fear and scarcity and they work hand in hand, right? And so what's holding you back from making more money is the fear of not being able to pay your bills and the scarcity of not having enough money. And that might be, maybe right now your income is scarce. Maybe things were scarce growing up, right? In the household you grew up in, maybe uh, money was tight, food wasn't plentiful, whatever it was, you know, you, you never got new clothes, hand-me-downs. Okay, cool. You're gonna have to let that go because how you grew up, your environment, played a huge part in your beliefs towards money today. And I'm gonna give you an example. Right now, I can say, is five, making $500,000 a year a lot of money? And some people, most people probably watch this video are gonna go, heck yeah, that's a lot of money. That's, you know, like, probably for some people that might not even be a number that you are even imagining is possible, right? Some people watching this video may have grew up in households that never made more than $30,000 a year. So your belief towards money is that making more than $30,000 a year is hard or it's difficult, right? or even if it's $100,000 a year. We all have a capped level of what we think is a lot that we need to break through in order to make more money, right? And I promise you, it starts with literally, um, it starts with literally overcoming that mindset, that doubt that's telling you that what you wanna make is not possible because no one else in your circle has ever done it, right? And then from there, once you figure out the number, you have to reverse engineer it, okay? When I say reverse engineer, that means, okay, you say to yourself, I wanna make $100,000 a year, right? So that comes up to $10,000 per month, and I believe, I've done this number a lot, it comes up to about $333 a day. Every day, you need to make to make $10,000 a month. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I'm not making, I'm only making $300 a week right now, or I'm making that every two weeks, or whatever it is. And so you're like, ah, that's not possible, that's a crazy number. So mindset is number one. You gotta change the way you view money, and the way you view uh, scarcity and fear, you have to override it, right? Because the mind is gonna keep telling you it's not possible. Once you've shaped that, now you're on your way to making more money. So and now you're telling me, 
Zay, I got down the mindset stuff. I know it's possible. I know I can do it. Now I just need a vehicle on how to do it, right? All right, great. Vehicles are plentiful, especially if you live in America right now, <coughs> excuse me, watching this video. There are an abundance of opportunities to make money, and I'm gonna talk about some in this video, right? We're gonna talk about, but I wanna introduce you to the idea of, if you wanna make more money, you need to be in control of that vehicle. So this video is really gonna be dedicated to those right now who are in a traditional nine to five that is not sales, right? Because if really in a nine to five, you can't really control your income. You're at the mercy of your boss, your constituents, whatever, to make more money, right? For them to, to, for them to come up to you and say, hey, you've done a great job making more money at this company. We're gonna give you a 50 cent raise. Appreciate that and give us the rest of your life. If you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna wait for someone to realize your potential and your greatness, you need to start your own business. Oh my gosh, but business owners fail. Business owners work so many hours in a week. Oh, I don't have time to start a business. You have time, we all have time. We all have, time is the only thing we all have, right? Until we don't have it, until it's gone. But right now, all you have is time. I have a little notification that pops on my screen that tells me how much time I've been spending on my phone. Now granted, a lot of my time is spent on my phone watching videos and stuff, so it's not all unproductive time, but I'll see a little pop-up. You spent two hours today on social media. Whoa, I don't have time though, but I spent two hours scrolling on social media, right? So now we just gotta get our priorities aligned. But coming down, how do I think is the best way to make more money now and beyond? And I'm gonna say this, plain and simple. I think skill sets, skill sets monetize your skill sets. If you don't have skill sets, create new skill sets because they will always make money. Knowing how to create things, fix things, or um, yeah, basically create, fix, basically how you make money, right? And I'm gonna give you an example, right? If you know how to actually, there's a lot of people in these trade um, industries that make a lot of money. Do not sleep on trades. A lot of trades you can make thousand dollars a day easy if you know what you're doing, right? If you're uh, selling your services at the right price, you're not underselling yourself. You can make great money in pressure washing, which is my main business. You can make great money in carpet cleaning, which is another business I have. They kind of work in tandem. You can make great money tinting windows. You can make good money fixing uh, cars. You can make good money fixing appliances. You can make good money in pest control. You can make uh, good money in uh, HVAC. There's so many things you can make good money in. So like really the premise of this video is creating new skill sets, right? Expose yourself to different things. There's like, my mind has been opened up so much being in the service-based industry, and I'm not saying to stick with that. You can make a, you know, a, a side hustle or business that involves products, but I think providing a service and you know, being able to monetize your skill sets or monetize skills that you create, so you don't have to have them right now. You can go out, get certifications, train, watch videos, and learn how to do things because you're, there's always gonna be that gap in the market of people who don't know how to do certain things. And so recently this weekend, I was hanging out with my boy JT, I was introduced to some new businesses. I didn't know that people are making six figures literally fixing appliances. And I thought about it, I said, hmm, that makes sense. Refrigerators go out, ovens go out, washers and dryers go out, and I'm gonna just give you some little bit about that background, right? So in the appliance repair, they're going in, they, you can make money off of flix, uh, flipping appliances, installing them, and um, I said fixing, installing, oh yeah, and flipping them. Those are the three things that you can uh, make money with an appliance repair, and I thought about that, it makes sense. Like, if my washer goes out right now, I have no idea how to fix it. And so I'm gonna call some, buying a new washer could cost me upwards of, you know, $800 or $500. But a repair might only cost 150 or 200. And I have no clue. And say the repair is something simple, but if I'm not aware of how to do it, then I'm just out of it, right? So I call the person up. It's a simple repair, right? But I've already agreed to pay them the money that they charge. So they come in here, boom, it's just a simple court needs to replace, cost them $5, but they charge me 200 and they're out in you know, an hour or less time and they've made their money, right? That's just one simple example, but I had no idea the money that was being made in, in appliance repair. So my advice number one to make more money really sums up to acquire new skill sets, valuable skill sets that you can sell to the marketplace. Because really making money is about 
value trade-offs, right? It's really a trade. Money is an, an exchange. People will hand you their money in exchange for something. No one's just gonna put money in your hand for nothing unless it's a charity, right? But even then, there's still an exchange happening. That exchange for them might be a good feeling that they get for giving the money or the feeling they get from seeing whatever situation be improved by their donation. So money is always in exchange, right? So if you're not making enough money, you need to look at what do I have to exchange? And can I exchange something more valuable to the marketplace than I currently am? So that might mean you have to switch vehicles. So really I'm talking, I want to ask you, yeah, you got to have a side hustle and you got to have skill sets because if you have those things, they will always make you money. So the side hustle comes in the form of, you know, you can monetize your skill sets, turn into a business, you know, whatever you're doing right now, maybe, uh, you enjoy, uh, talking about makeup, right? So let's talk about a makeup side hustle. I'm just, like I said, I'm kind of just giving, open you guys up to different ideas. So the makeup, uh, business model, here's how I would lay it out off the top of my head, right? So if I'm really into makeup, number one, attention is money, right? Attention is money. Attention is actually probably the most valuable currency there is today besides data, right? As a marketer, as an advertiser, attention is what, and I can say I'm a marketer too, so I'm going to say is what we look for. Where attention is, is where advertisers go like sharks. It's like blood in the water. Advertisers are like searching for that blood, that attention, right? And so how do you monetize attention in a modern age? Well, number one, I'm gonna give you guys a few different income streams that you can create just off of having attention. So number one, you need to get on a platform where you can be seen. Here we go, right here. Hello, YouTube, get on here. Talk about, you're already, talk, you're already talking about what you're doing, but you're just not getting it on video doing it. You're talking to all your friends saying about you love makeup, you're on Instagram watching these videos. It's time for you to be on the opposite side of that. You need to put yourself out there and create content, right? And you're thinking, oh, I'm not good on video. Oh, you know, it doesn't make money. I'm gonna break some things down for you, right? Number one, create videos. Hi, get in front of a camera. Just literally talk about what you're passionate about. Two, be consistent over time. Through your consistency, you'll start to develop an audience. You'll cultivate an audience, right? And you're consistent. You're consistent. So number one, if you're on YouTube, eventually you can monetize a channel. Ding, income stream number one. Is it going to be super large in the beginning? No, but can it, does it have the potential for growth and can it scale just by you being consistent? Yes, it can. So that's going to be pretty passive in the sense that by you just doing your videos, you'll start to, you'll start to get paid. Two, private label your own makeup brand. <gasps> yeah. So now that you have attention in the makeup industry, private label your own makeup company. How do you do that? Go to AliExpress, find vendors. AliExpress is pretty much an um, online marketplace. Pretty much you're finding like suppliers in China and you're being, being able to buy products at wholesale prices, right? And you can talk to those uh, manufacturers and get them to create your private label brand. So you would you know, come up with your own name for the, for the uh, makeup company, whatever. Uh, Bad Girl Makeup Incorporated, whatever. Boom, now you're probably your own makeup. You can drop ship it, and I won't really, you can Google what drop shipping is. Create your own website, Shopify, put up your own makeup on there. Now, how do you drop traffic to it? Oh, boom, you already have an audience full of people who love makeup. Flow it to your own products. Boom, okay, cool. Number three, from attention, you can make money with affiliate marketing. What is affiliate marketing? It's getting paid to recommend things that you're already talking about. So boom, I say, hey girl, you need to go get yourself a new iPhone. It's the best thing ever. So every time you tell somebody about a product or, or, or a service that you've had, just word of mouth, you are advertising. That is free advertising for that business, right? Now, affiliate marketing is literally just getting paid for doing that, right? So doing it for free, you're gonna get a little cut off of the sale, but it's not gonna cost the person who purchased any more, right? Anything more. You're just gonna get a little commission. So if I say, hey, uh, you need to uh, use the Sony ZV-1 camera to record your videos. It's a great camera, and I'm not telling you I have to use it. I'm like, oh my God, I love this camera. It's the best camera ever. Uh, you can see the quality of the videos. Boom, boom, I love it. But if I tell people about it, I'm saying, hey, use my link to Amazon. And every time you go click that link and you purchase, Amazon is going to recognize that you came from my link and it's going to give me a commission just for you literally clicking my link. 
and I drove the traffic. Why do they pay you? Because you're doing advertising for them and advertising costs a lot of money. So if they can do it cheaper, you're just talking about it, why not get a cut, right? So they pay you. Affiliate marketing. So we talk about three. AdSense, private little products, affiliate marketing. Uh, four, sponsorship. So when you have attention, people want to get on that. So now you might bring in somebody in a, a, a similar niche. So say makeup, I would say fashion related. So now you collab with somebody in the fashion industry or a fashion, fashion company and they want you, they want to sponsor your video with their new uh, jewelry or outfits, fashion over, whatever. Now you're getting a cut from literally talk, um, from literally a, a company sponsoring you uh, with either um, free product or once again, it's kind of essentially be um, affiliate marketing. But with sponsorships, they might just pay you on the top end uh, and then you won't get paid in the back end from every sale. But they say, hey, we're gonna give you $1,000 to promote our product. Past $1,000, you won't make any more money off of the uh, sales, but regardless of what happens, you got your thousand dollars. So I just gave you guys four income streams you could create literally off of your passion. So that is how you can really grow a side hustle. Oh, and then five, I'll give you another one, is once you've done something successfully, people wanna know how you did it. So now you can charge for either consulting or creating your own digital product, outlining an ebook or course or an audio book, whatever, teaching step-by-step -step on how you did what you did helping other people get results. So I just give you five income streams you can build from literally starting off with a side hustle, finding a passion. So what is that? A niche, right? Find your niche first. So I know this video is kind of scrambled, but I just want to open your mouth to making more money. It's not, it's really not that hard, especially today with phones. You don't need fancy equipment, pull out a phone, open up your camera, talk, boom. It's not that hard. Upload to YouTube, do it consistently. Over time, you'll get better. I suck at this right now like I, I'm, I'm all over the place and yet people are still gonna watch this and some people are gonna get value from it but that's literally all it takes and I'm telling you this not from somebody uh, who's giving you theory from somebody who's done it I uh, have a my other YouTube channel has almost 6k subscribers but even before I had 6k or when I had about 2,000 subscribers that channel made me a passive $30,000 just off of my own digital product um, this year by literally just putting out a video and talking about what I do and giving people free value. And I gave them the option if you wanna learn more, if you wanna get more value, you wanna go deeper, here's a training offer and boom, I made $30,000 passively. And that's on the really low end because people make way more money than that, but I gave my product away at a very, very affordable, super cheap price. So, but I still, you know what I'm saying? It was automated, so it made $30,000. And that's just the, that's just the uh, product itself. From there, I also made a few extra thousand dollars from the affiliate marketing, just like I'm telling you, and I'm also make, starting to make a little bit of money from the YouTube AdSense. So I'm practicing what I preach. I'm not just giving you theory. It really is possible. And this little secret with the digital product, there is no cost of goods. You pretty much do it one time. It's an info product. So being that it's digital, it's unlimited copies. Versus if I sell you this plant, every time I sell you one, it's going to cost me money, right? Because I have the cost of producing it and marketing it. But when you get uh, free organic traffic, you're not paying for the marketing and the product, there's no cost of goods because it's digital, right? So yeah, if you don't believe me, you should try it for yourself and see that it's real. But yeah, guys, that is uh, kind of the general overview I wanna get into how to make more money. I will follow up this video with more details if you guys wanna talk more about you know, affiliate marketing or creating a digital product or you know exactly the steps to starting a side hustle, we can talk about it. But let's recap real quick. Mindset, escape the fear and scarcity. Uh, two is you need to develop skill sets. So I would say skill sets and uh, exposure, I'm gonna say this in two and two, right? So skill, set, skill sets and exposure, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what skill sets did I acquire? And this is where just literally researching comes in and going on different channels, learning about businesses, different businesses out there, experimenting and seeing what you might be interested in. So literally off of, I'm gonna give you guys somebody to go follow right now, JT Hustle's channel, that's my boy, go follow him. He has over 104,000 subscribers and literally his whole channel is dedicated to presenting people with different business opportunities out there. So literally off of going to his channel, I've learned about the dumpster rental business, the uh, pallet business, pallet reselling business, uh, just electronics reselling business or anything reselling, flipping stuff off of marketplace or offer up, whatever. Um, what else do we have? We have the appliance repair business. We have the pest control business. We have the uh, wildlife, like basically catch, catching uh, wild animals business. Uh, I mean, so there's so t-shirt business. 
There's so many different things that's out there and that's available for you um, that you're probably not even aware of. So open up your mind to the opportunities that's out there. Don't limit yourself um, you know, to what you currently know. So exposure, be willing to put your mind in, you know, just out there, just roam sometimes. It's okay to get on YouTube and then just dive in, you know? And so just, you know, see what's out there in the marketplace right now. Cause there's, like I said, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but there are literally tons and tons and tons of business opportunities for, uh, that are, that exist out there. And a lot of these sometimes are little known, but I'm just definitely going to say off the top is that learning a trade is I think one of the number one things you can do now in 2021 and beyond is that trades will pay money, right? I know there's going to be robots in the future, but they're not here yet. So trades, I think are a great way to make money. Cause if you have a trade, literally like you, you will always make money. People's cars are going to keep breaking down for a long time. You know, things are made to break. So if you can fix them, that is a niche. That's a market. It's a great way to make money because I don't know how to fix a lot of things. And if something breaks, I'm going to call somebody and then somebody could be you. And you're going to tell me, you know, that this is the problem. And you're going to tell me that it's going to cost $300. I'm just going to believe you. I'm going to pay you that because I'd rather pay you $300 than having to go buy a new one or having to fix it myself. So my number one advice, if you don't get anything else in this video, is go get trades because I think there's a lot of money to be made in trades. I'm in a trade, so I know this is real. I know you can make six, six, six figures in a trade. So if you're struggling to make income right now, it's probably because you don't have a trade or you're not really monetizing it. You're very skilled, but you're just, maybe you're lazy. I don't know. But you're not going to get rich working as a cashier at, at a retail store or at a fast food joint or doing basically low skilled uh, jobs. I'm just being honest with you. That's not to like, knock what you're doing, but your low skill jobs aren't going to pay. So go find something, train, and then now you can exchange at a higher uh, um, trading value. Anyway, guys, hope you gained some value out of this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and join me here because I'll be putting out a video every single day on this channel. Maybe multiple videos a day. I don't know yet, but at least you'll get one a day. That's going to um, add some value to your life, expose you to something new, and hopefully you learn and grow just like I am. That's why it's called Grow With Day. Anyway, guys, peace out. Much love. Take care.